Logic has a lot of easy ways to make your workflow faster and your whole music production process a lot more easier. And most of the things we don't even know that Logic can do. Like for example, do you know you can just search inside Logic itself and bring in MIDI files or samples that exist in your computer. You can just do that through a setting that's available in Logic itself. And it not just brings MIDI files or samples, you can even import a MIDI file that you used maybe in another project, but then you used a lot of different plugins on it and you like that sound, you want that sound on the new project as well. You can easily bring it into this new project through a button called as Browse File. I'm Florina Jane, otherwise known as Flow of Music, and I put out a lot of music production related videos so if that's something that you like then hit the subscribe button so let's get into the video if you all don't know this feature then this is really going to change the game for you what you need to do is go on the top left to this particular function called as browsers just select that now let's say I want to pick a sample that I probably had you need to go to files and search the place where you have your samples. Let's say I have a particular sample inside my hard disk. So I go to all files. If you've got it in your desktop or documents, you need to go to this window. But mine is on my hard disk, so I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to browse through it. So there are so many things that I have over here. So maybe if I want to choose from this cello. And let's say this is the sample that I want. Just that constant cello sound. All I need to do is just click and bring it over here. And that's it. You can just import any sample that you want inside Logic like that. If you want MIDI files, it's the same way. You just find that MIDI file and just drag and drop it in. Now I'm going to show you another cool feature. If you want to import a particular MIDI file with the effects and probably you use that on some other project and you want that exact same file again, you can still do that using this browser's window. So I'm going to go to all files my songs and inside this project i've got some stuff and from that i need one of the midi files over here so select import first and you get all the different tracks that you used in that particular project so let's say i am looking for this violin you can select what and all you want to add so i need the content it says plugin so i've added multiple plugins on this you can just check mark that if you want to do that and then input output let me select that keep bus number and suppose I've done some automation I need to check this so that even that automation gets applied so once you check the boxes that you need all you need to do is click add and that's it let's open the inspector window see these are the stuff that I've added and it just came over here so I'm just going to solo it and play for you So that's the exact track I used on the other project and I got everything. I got the content, I got the VST, I got the plugins, but that's it. Your workflow becomes so much more easier and it becomes easier to navigate and travel through things. So this feature is something that I really like and I quickly wanted to make a video and show you guys this feature. I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching. Never stop learning. Keep making music and I'll see you guys in another video.